Okay, so we go from extreme rules that's not being extreme to the a raw that was very, very, very extreme. And with that being said, this is Drama Script Saturday, where I give you my opinions on the, the notable things that happened this past week in wrestling. But how we do on every Drama Script Saturday, we first go off with the ratings. And we have Raw with 1.71 million uh, NXT. 2.0 with 655k and then we have wednesday night dynamite with 1.152 million but now that we got that out the way i want to first talk about the not so extreme rules of uh, yeah uh Liv morgan probably got the biggest win of her career against uh Carmella and they put it on the pre-show damn but that was a that was an okay match for what it was worth and that it that is easily uh Liv Morgan's uh biggest singles win of her career I hope WWE uh looks at that crowd reaction and pushes her more because she she does deserve it I think she's been in the company like six years now yeah, because the Riot Squad is technically old. So yeah, I think she's been in a company like six, seven years. So we had that match. That match was good. Then we have this last minute New Day versus Bobby and AJ with Amis. And we know New Day won. Okay. Um, Alexa Bliss versus Charlotte Flair. That was okay. Apparently, there's some background to that. Apparently, Alessa Bliss requested time off. And her uh, Charlotte Flair ripping up the doll was the way to kill off Alexis Bliss's crazy character. And uh, as there's rumors coming around that she's going to come back with a new character. Remember all these are rumors. That was okay. Uh, Bianca Belair versus Becky. Match was insane, only to end with this qualification due to Sasha Banks coming back. Uh, then we had, let's see, we had the Usos versus the Street Profits. Usos won. That was okay. Then Triple Threat match, in my opinion, was the best match on the card. Uh, too too bad Jeff Hardy still lost. Damian Priest retained every it, this 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 pay per view should be should have been called Extreme Retainment because no one lost a belt. Everyone retained. And then the main event, the big dog, Roman Reigns versus the Demon Finn Balor had a dumb finish. Had a real dumb finish. I mean, I give WWE credit. It was new. It was just dumb. Um. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I did say they would have to borderline kill Finn Balor for Finn Balor's demon character still to still remain strong. But they killed him technically, and then they resurrected him with his theme music just for the top rope to give away. And then for Roman to spare him for the one, two, three. It's like if this chair would just magically give away and then drama scripted would be over. I I don't I don't get it. I, I don't I don't get it. Uh, but that's that's how Extreme Rules ended. And then we go to Raw where there was there was kendo sticks, everything, a 24-7 title brawl. It had the Hurt Business is finally reunited. There was a fucking steel cage. Like the Raw should have been extreme rules. Like, damn. Raw should have should have been should have really, really been extreme. Raw was more extreme than extreme rules. I don't, I don't see. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. 
it's just it was raw was just more crazy was a lot more crazier than than extreme rules well in this word the ex extreme so ah uh, that was that was it you know uh biggie retains his title in the steel cage because the first time they did it to start off the show Hurt Business got involved, and which means the New Day got involved. So, seems that the Hurt Business is reunited. Uh, then they did the match again. What was this? With Damian Priest versus Sheamus. Damian Priest won. Yeah. I don't know. Raw was just... Raw was just, yeah, really, really more extreme. But moving on to, to AEW and this Arn Anderson promo. Arn Anderson really told Coley with this Cody Rhodes and Malachi Black uh, feud currently going on. Cody Rhodes is like, you're the type of guy. No, sorry, not Cody Rhodes. Arn Anderson to Cody Rhodes was like, you're the type of guy that, you know, when your car gets pulled over... You say, you know, just take the car. Please don't hurt me. I'm the type of guy that if I'm getting pulled over and someone's trying to rob my car, I pull out the Glock, put it to his face, and blow his brains out. Like, holy shit, Arn. Where did that come from? Like, my man said he'll pull out the Glock and did arm animations and everything and said he'll blow, like, I, that's the... That is the most creative way I've ever heard one man call another man a punk bitch. That, that, I, that's, that, 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 that was insane. Like, that promo was, was, was crazy. And R. Anderson was like, I'm not, he was like, he's not managing anymore because he doesn't manage your losers. And at least Leo listened to him and he grabbed Murphy Lee and they, they left. But I, this this Malachi Black and Cody Rhodes feud, it's well, it's next. It's full gear, right? Yeah, I, that full gear match has to be has to be insane. Yeah, has to be insane. Uh, uh, another notable thing that happened on Dynamite: uh, the Sex God Sammy Guevara beat Rusev. Well, on AEW, he's Miro. But you know he beat Rusev, he, he beat the the undefeated guy. So shout outs to Sammy Guevara getting his first title reign in AEW. I want to see what Sammy could do with with a belt. So and I indirectly puts Inner Circle uh, back on the map. They have they have a they have a title back again. So that was that. Other concerns I have, we all know uh, Ruby Soho. Got injured in her first uh, Rampage match that happened two weeks ago. Now tonight on Rampage, because I'm recording this on Friday. There is a triple threat with Thunder Rosa, Nyla Rose, and Jade for the number one contender. Which that may tell me that indirectly speaking, I wanna, I'm want i assuming that Ruby Soho's injury must be more serious. Because Ruby Soho is the number one contender because she won that battle royale. But now they're doing this to push, I guess, her back or so she could recover more. I don't know. Really didn't get full details of what type of injury Rumi Soho was, ha has sustained. But it seems to be big if they're doing, you're giving us a free fucking fantastic pay-per-view. I'm not, sorry, match, not pay-per-view. Well, it is a pay-per-view qual quality match. Giving us Thunder Rosa, Nyla Rose, and Jade in a triple threat match. So, that will be airing tonight. Uh, the draft, day one of the draft is also tonight. I'm just going to speculate. Raw get, uh, Roman gets drafted first to stay on SmackDown and Big E gets drafted second. Since Big E has the, the WWE title, obviously they don't want one show to have both titles. That would be insane. So, that's the only thing. I, that's the only predictions that I see that's 1000% going to happen on tonight's draft. Uh, next week, I'll give you my full overall thoughts of the draft and full results since tonight is night one and Monday is night two. 
and I do this every Saturday or upload this video every Saturday but yeah so that's pretty much it uh that's it for this week's drama script saturday uh it's drama script saturday every saturday or every weekend when i try uh please leave your thoughts predictions in the comment section below and until next weekend guys i'm dante oh aka game fiend if you know what games and i'm out of here later and peace be safe everyone